you too. Like, comment, subscribe for another one just like this on my YouTube channel. For more thought-provoking content like this, click the bell icon. So, we got film study, DeMarvin Leal, DeMarvin Leal, excuse me. And this comes as a video request. Obviously, I'm taking video requests. Shout out to my boy. Um, put his name in the description as a subscriber here. You can always do a video request for the film study. I got the film, I got the tape, and it only makes me better as a person to actually know all these prospects as, instead of giving you who I like. Let me see who y'all like. And let's get into the film. So, the Marvin Leal out of Texas A&M, he's a prospect. A little much maligned because he had the little drug issue with the marijuana. But honestly, it's 2022. No one cares about marijuana. So, <laughs> I don't think that's going to affect his draft stock. If it did, it might affect a round, not two, three rounds, just like the past. Uh, but the Marvin Leal played in the SEC, played against top t interior talent. And he played on the exterior as well as the interior. Now, what I've seen in the film study, and we're going to break it down, is I feel like he's not a pass rusher. I feel like he's he's more of a run stopper, more of a 3-4 guy. But I feel like he wants to play the pass rush, and he wants to be that 4-3 defensive end that's extremely athletic with band and bull rush. And I like that. So we're going to get into what I like, what I don't like, and what round he can go in. I think he's going to be a good player. But at the same time, what round is he worth? That's what we're trying to figure out today. Again, shout out to my mans. Let's get into the content. Love y'all. When you turn on the tape, shout out to everybody who doesn't have it. When you turn on the tape on DeMarvin Leo, everybody notices really quick that this dude gets double covered in the run game the pass game every type of initial game the other team is aware of who he is where he is what he's doing and they always trying to disrupt that for me as a viewer that's a good thing i see people get get single covered i'm worried <laughs> you know and you ain't getting no pressure worried you ain't getting no pressure with single coverage i'm worried so again that's something that's big for me but let's break into this play and see why, what we can figure out about the Marvin Leal. The majority of what they try to do with the Marvin Leal, and you'll see it here, is they try to make him an interior lineman. Whether it was the will of not wanting to do it or the just the sheer outmatched, he's always getting bodied in the interior line. Now against weaker competition, he is getting pressure and all that other stuff. But against the GOATs, the Alabamas, the Arburns, the, the real teams out there, it's, it's kind of bad. So, again, I would have never used the Marvin Leal like this. He, he It just gets exposed sometimes if it's not a pass down. If it's a rundown, he's getting pushed out the way. He's going against 300-pound men, and it's not working. It's not working. Now, to be fair... When it comes to sideline to sideline stuff, and he has to kind of block shed and seal the edge, he can do that. He can do that with the best of them. Watch this. Boom. Disengage. I'm right here. Now I have to force the running back to come in and get to what? All my defenders. I mean, that's textbook. He was a big cause of that play because he sealed the edge. Honestly, I don't know what his coaches was doing with him, but this is what I would want him to do. I would want to play a wide nine, stretch out all the offensive linemen, and let him win with his athleticism. That's what I would do. I'm not a genius. I'm just a dude on YouTube. But he's in a wide nine system. He can do the two gap. He can seal the edge. And he can do everything he wants to do well, plus pin his ears back and pursue the quarterback. Look at this. This is athleticism. Even though he comes in unblocked, let's say he does come in blocked. There's plays I've seen him cook uh, Evan Neal in Alabama. And keep in mind, this is the 2021 Evan Neal, the first pick in the draft. There's some plays where he legitimately beat this man in a pass coverage situation. And that gives me a little hope. But again, putting him on the inside, what is we doing? 
you put him on the inside against like smaller centers, you know, Lyndon Baum, the bum from Michigan. Put him on guys like that. Don't put him against these six seven, six six dudes that's, you know, three thirty. The same reason I like all those defensive linemen from Georgia is the same reason right here I like DeMarvin Leal. Look at this. Boom. He had to crash the play. Didn't affect the play too much, but he crashed the play. And he made he was a force when against the run game. He can crash on the edge and he can shut this shit down. He has a decent IQ, good football IQ. Sees the running back wrapped up. Okay, play action. I ain't fall for nothing. I love it. Oh, in actuality, what do I think of DeMarvin Leal? Well, first and foremost, like, comment, subscribe for more thought-provoking content like this, as well as video requests. And shout out to Fernando Araguin for the video. Shout out for um just coming to i got i got the four video requests obviously gilbert patello as well but in conclusion what do i think of this prospect right here demarvin leal leal actually is a 4-3 defensive end truly and i see that because most of his highlights most of the tape that we watch he is effect comes to crashing from the defensive end standpoint, stopping the run from the defensive end standpoint, and he's always getting double teamed at the defensive end standpoint. When you put him inside, it's a different man. And that's okay. <laughs> you know? Whatever his team saw in him to put him on the inside, just just they cheated themselves because he is truly miraculous when it comes to dealing with the outside. Now, what round do i think he is eh, maybe a second round pick maybe maybe an early second round pick late second round pick uh i gotta do more on his scouting combine but i i don't see no red flags with him i think he's a solid prospect if you need a defensive end that can stop the run that can that can deliver a striking blow that can play a three four as a five technique three technique or be a pure nine technique this is the guy for you i see him as a eagles type of player lee eagles type of defensive end that they would want as a, as well as a, another player that he has to go to a team basically that uses a lot of stunts that uses a lot of defensive end like is heavy on defensive end remember how tennessee used to be remember how uh detroit used to be like he has to go to a team that has a jordan davis in the middle that has a has a solid defensive tackle grouping that way he can be the most effective on the outside but other than that he cold he's a nice second round pick and if the lions want to take a chance on him um i'm cool with it you know in a three four i feel like he's deshaun hand in a four three i feel like the sky's the limit so remember like comment subscribe love y'all appreciate y'all send y'all video requests through shout out